Libra to your end of the month reading for September. I hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. We've got the releasing pain or forgiveness through optimism on your way to some kind of recovery of the heart moving forward. Someone did you dirty. That's what it feels like. Somebody broke your heart and did you dirty. Now you have the three of pentacles. So it's like, okay, so you have three to the three. So it's almost like you broke my heart. But I'm moving on. Wow. You got a new commitment coming in. Someone did you dirty, but you feel like you have someone else coming in to the situation. But you're having this sudden awareness about this commitment. Trying to realign what it is that you need. You're having this accept this acceptance that this is where they're that they're moving on from this situation. They broke your heart and moved on. They break their heart and move on with someone else, but it does feel like you have this new commitment coming in or that you're looking at a, what could be a Pisces. You're recovering after a third party situation that, that really hurts you. You're giving yourself the, the highest commitment of what it is you truly want, but having the sudden awareness and the acceptance that they are moving on by, by you surrendering and letting go of this relationship and this change of the way you're feeling. It's really building your self-confidence up right now. So the end of the month, you do feel a lot stronger um, than you had for a little while. Uh, the struggle was surreal. Whether this is, you know, 100% love situation or a friendship, it just feels like you're retreating and, redraw, uh, and withdrawing from this, this pain. No, no longer, like, clutching on to what's going on within this situation. You just accepted it. Okay, fine. Then go be with whoever. Um... It's almost like you were trying to build back what was lost, but it didn't seem to happen. So it does look like they are trying to I got third party all over this reading. Three of swords, three of pentacles, three of cups. I mean, there's just third party all over the place, guys. We've got the three of cups to the, yeah, replacing what was lost because you kept me in, in, yeah, you kept me in my head. This relationship really hurt. I think this was a long-term relationship that you had going on within this situation. And this person has cheated on you. Like I said, done, done you, done, done did you dirty, right? Dirty damn. Um, it does look like you, you know... There could be somebody else that's coming in over here. You could have an Aries or a Sagittarius moving in on this situation. Could even be a Leo. Um, but it does look like there is this other charming person who is watching and kind of waiting their turn for you. Yeah, for some of you, you have somebody else who's watching you, who's waiting their turn. They're being very sensible about your feelings. But they definitely are being very charming towards you. I got the victory to the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of a new love coming in or somebody who's seeing you for you. And they definitely want to have, they, they re are recognizing you as a potential suitor. They're going to get ready to build up the confidence over here, or they're waiting for you to build up some more self-confidence so that they can go towards you because they see you're kind of down and out. But you're doing very well right now. 
a lot better than you were because you've come to the acceptance that they just threw everything you built away. But I do see this person watching you. It doesn't look like a fire sign who's coming in to watch you or who's watching you, who wants to offer you this one. They want to offer you this date. They want to offer you this connection. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely could be a Sagittarius. Got Sag three times. Three times? No, two times. I'm sorry. Two times. Yeah, they're watching you overcome these challenges. It's almost like while they're kind of waiting for you to heal. They're just focused on their work. It's somebody you know. It's definitely somebody you know. Yeah, they know that somebody has been careless with your heart, with the situation. It's definitely somebody you already know. Ace of Pentacles. They want to come in and offer you a date. Offer you a good time out. Let's go to the fair. Let's go out. Let's have some fun. Um... Yeah, they see all of what was going on within this situation. They see the dishonesty you went through, getting away with something. It's somebody you know. It's somebody you've even talked to. Somebody who knows the situation. They can't know all of this if they don't know you or know your ex, right? There's definitely somebody that's in the circle, okay, within your circle. Because they see this person that you were with is very petty, they see the disagreements that is going on within this situation. They understand the debates that's going on. But they want to, it's like they want to take you out now. They want to express their love, their feelings for you. So definitely right now they want to come to you and express, you know, their feelings. They want to show you that, you know, they, they care. That they do care about you. They want to offer you the Ace of Cups. They know you, so... They definitely know you. They've been having this wishful think thinking for a while. They've been daydreaming about you for a while. They think that this would be a great, that you guys would be very comfortable together because you're already very comfortable together. So, so since you're already very comfortable together, they definitely do want to take this, this leap of faith with you. Okay, so they definitely want to come in and... Offer you cups of love over here. Offer you a good time. Let's go out and have some fun. Raise the vibration. Let me show you love. Maybe show you what love is supposed to be. Because that person could not. You have a past life relationship. Now, past life relationship means it could even be, you know, you might not even be, you know. It's just you've known each other before. I'm not going to put it into the the past tense right now so much of we've known each other since the 1800s. Okay, it literally could just be, right, I've known this person before. I knew this person five or six years ago, and here they come back in. So I've had a past life. I've had past with them, okay, within this life. It doesn't always have to be that way. Um, engagement. It feels like you were engaged. You may have been engaged to this person. Not this person. This ex. And that could have been why it hurt so bad was because you were engaged with them. You were supposed to get married to this person. That's why you had the three of pentacles. But you're going through the forgiving and learning stage right now. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, which is actually kind of crazy because as this as this knight of, of wands or king of wands, either one, um, as they're coming in, they're definitely trying to show you the experience of love. Okay. 
And maybe it's not 100% love either. I mean, it's a general reading. It could even be... Could even be a good friendship coming in. You can always put that. But for a lot of you, it's calling in a soulmate. You didn't realize you were calling in a soulmate, and that's what's going on. It's like the honeymoon is over, and now, it, you know, your soul's calling in someone else. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring your soulmate together, you and your soulmate together, as your healing family issues. Yeah, there's some stuff going on over here. But like I said, if it's not true romance like that, guys, it could literally be a really good friend, okay, who's just coming in very passionately to help you out and to have, you know, heart-to-heart -heart kind of conversations with you to help you move through this ordeal, okay? I mean, so it doesn't 100% have to be a love situation. We don't have the lovers. We don't have the two of cups. Um, so it literally could just be a really old friend who's just coming in saying, hey, I, I heard what's going on around this situation. I want to be there for you. So also take that into consideration. Okay. okay. And those of you on love, of course, that's where that is. It's saying calling in a soulmate, and they will help heal the wounds of what's going on within this relationship. Moving you on to a divine, more divine path. This person's very starry-eyed about you. I, I'm king of wands. Whoever it's dealing with, then they've got the lovers. So if it's a love situation, you definitely have the star card. Very starry-eyed about you. Really deeply care about you. King of wands, Sagittarius energy to the lovers. So they definitely do have a deep, deep love for you. Okay. And like I said, even if it's like a soul sister situation... Uh, there's still some deep love, right? It's just a different kind of love, right? You would say it's not a romantic love. It's just a deep soul sister type of scenario. Okay. But for the majority of it, it really is love. Okay, let's see what's going on. And affirmations for the day is... I love myself enough to just go for what I want. Yes. Love yourself enough to set boundaries. Your time and energy are precious. You get to choose how you use it. You teach people how to treat you by deciding what you will and won't accept. Love it. Very beautiful, guys. Okay. And that was it for you. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.